Well, Maggie and Winston proved that in some cases, the pandemic brings couples closer together. They're getting married in the finale, which is amazing. But as we know, weddings never go as planned in Grey's Anatomy. Yeah. What obstacles should we expect during the finale? <laughs> obstacle number one uh, is Winston's grandmother, and obstacle number two is Maggie's father. Is there anyone here who objects to this union? <laughs> oh, well, we do. Even though they, you know, there is a disruption, it doesn't quite go as, uh, according to plan, um, that they'll be happy. The fans will still be very happy with the outcome. We'd like you to officiate the wedding. Uh, oh, really? I love that you guys did ask Richard to officiate the wedding. Why was he sort of the perfect yeah. person to do that? And will he object to the objectors? Oh, I love that Maggie asked him to. You know, it's been really interesting um, exploring this relationship between, or, or how this the, the relationship has grown between mm -hmm. um, Maggie and her adoptive father, which she met or who she met as an adult, you know, um, they're colleagues and yet they did sort of have an immediate bond. There was so much like love and tenderness between them right away from the beginning after a little hiccup. I think one of the most beautiful things about Maggie is that like she, she has taken in everyone has embraced this new family and, and the weddings are such a great opportunity to like make the space and, and allow people to let people know, um, you know, how important they are to you, you know? And so I love that, that Richard was the one Maggie invited to, to step in and do that that officiating duty. So what's this I hear about you wanting to marry my little girl? Oh, God. <laughs> I also have to say congratulations because you guys got picked up for an 18th season, which is just incredible. First of all, what was your reaction? Because Anthony told me that things really came down to the wire with that. They did, I mean, we didn't know. Nobody knew um, what would happen and there was just like, I mean, wild, speaking of wild speculation, you know, we were all wondering, oh, it, does it mean something that all of these characters from the past are coming back? You know, what do they have planned? And, and uh, you know, for for closing out the, the show, which has such a, a long um, and storied legacy, and on the one hand, it seemed like a really great way to close it out. There was still a lot of story to tell and wrap up and finish. So I, I was just excited that um, we'll have a chance um, to do that or, or even to continue the story even further, to spin off some stories. You know, it's 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 nice to know that like we, you know, we didn't, it didn't come to an abrupt end. It would have felt very abrupt to me, sure. to, to be honest, you know. Um, and so I'm glad, I'm glad we can sort of tease things out a little bit longer. You mentioned spin off some stories. Are there conversations about potential Grey's spin offs? Should Girl, we? Yes, apparently there are. I don't know anything about them, but yes, <laughs> apparently there's, there's talk of spin off. I mean, we've done spin offs in the past. Private right. Practice was a spin off. Um, and so, um, and, and so, and there are just a million worlds, you know, that, that, that could be explored. You could see any of these doctors. Uh, we could go into the past, we could go into the future. There's a million ways to do it. So, so I don't know what they're cooking up, but, but there are just, it's a whole universe. It's 17 seasons worth of storytelling. I mean, it could be a patient, you know, <laughs> a right. spin off of a patient from, you know, a, a, some 10 seasons ago for all we know. So I don't, I don't know, but, um, yeah, there's a lot of potential there. Fair to say that you would play Maggie for as many seasons as they asked you to? Oh, you know, Maggie Pierce and I have been together for like seven years and it's been really an incredible journey. And, um, but I think, you know, the way that we saw some characters leave because their stories just sort of came to an end in a really graceful, beautiful way, I thought, with Jackson's departure and, I mean, tragic as it was, DeLuca's departure. Um, I think that if if the story, you know, wherever the story goes, um, I feel like I, I hold on to, to, to it loosely. You know, I hold on to Maggie loosely. So, you know, longevity or whether, you know, whether that means a long time or a short time, um, I'm happy to do it. Right. 
Should we prepare ourselves for any other departures after the finale? I mean, you mentioned, of course, Jesse left, Giacomo left, Greg has left. Yeah. I'm a little worried. <laughs> I know, wouldn't that be so sad? It's just like, <laughs> and another one, and another one. Uh, no. <laughs> <I'm> not. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, you know, I'm not gonna tell ya. Sorry, I was asked earlier um, what uh, one word to describe the the finale would be, and it's um, I the word I used to describe it was was celebratory. So I think that uh, let's just say this: even if there are departures, you know, I think it still feels very much um, like a like good news for everybody. I'm glad you didn't die, Greg. Me too. Well, changing gears, but also speaking of good news, Meredith has recovered from COVID, but we know she goes back to the beach in the finale, what brings her back to the beach? I'm so bad at teasing. <laughs> like, I wish like, I had something really clever to say, but like, I can't tell you. So I don't know. <laughs> um, uh, no, I, I. she's got a really, really great reason to go back to the beach. And I think that people will be happy to see her there. Okay. Are there any uh, guest appearances in the finale, perhaps on the beach? Perhaps on the beach. Um, you're gonna have to watch and find out. Who would you think, who, who do you think it would be? I, Who's I, left? Who would you like to see back? I know, true. Well, I always say, I always say, just, you know, I guess selfishly, uh, Maggie came to Seattle to know more about her mom and she obviously couldn't meet her. So I would love to see Ellis again. I know as much as, you know, she's been visiting um, throughout seasons past, I, I, I wish Maggie and Ellis could have a scene together. Is there a big cliffhanger in the finale? Yes. How are fans gonna feel in those final moments? I think the fans are gonna feel the way that we felt making it, which was that, you know, we we made it through a tough season, you know, a tough season of life, where you know, which many of us are, are very much still in, and and we managed to find some joy and we managed to have, have some love, and yet there was still heartbreak, and yet there is still grief, and and um, and I think that. We're, we, we do a great job of sort of holding all of those things at the same time. Mm -hmm. And so I think that, um, I think the finale will, will feel as hopeful about the future as I think many of us in, in real life feel right now that, you know, the, 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 uh, that we're, things will improve and can improve and we have seen improvement more investing in that.